the bit of your book. Think it ain't be your pretty look you want. Live a restaurant and fun done, man, bang, book. Book! Eh, recipe book. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna be cooking coconut curry shrimp and mashed potato. So yeah, these are the things that we're gonna be needing today. We have a pound of shrimp, we have our all-purpose coconut milk, hot pepper, sweet pepper, carrot, onion, scallion, and thyme. We also have a teaspoon of curry. We have some chopped garlic, and we have some water so now i'm gonna add some of the all-purpose caesar to the shrimp because i like to pre-season it before cooking So now I'm going to add the oil to the pot so that it can get hot, but not too hot, just hot enough to burn the curry. Yes. So now that the oil is hot, I'm adding my garlic. I'm going in with my curry. And I'm going to stir while, while it burns. So now I'm going in with my hot pepper and I'm going to stir it up just a little bit. And I'm going in with my onion now. I'm going to just stir as I go along. My carrot. Chopped scallion. Sweet pepper. And I'm going to stir everything up. So now I'm going to add my coconut milk. And guys, I'm not going to use the water. I'm just going to use one and a half cup of coconut milk. And I'm going to stir everything up in the coconut milk. So I'm gonna let my vegetables cook in the coconut milk for five minutes while I start on my mashed potatoes. So I, here I have two pounds of potatoes. I have mixed vegetable, mayonnaise, and chiffon butter. These are the things I'm gonna be using today. So I'm gonna peel my potatoes.
so now that the five minutes is up i'm gonna add the shrimp So now I'm going to add my thyme and I'm going to stir it up a little bit and I'm going to leave it to cook for 5 minutes because it was already pre-cooked and de veined so it doesn't need a long time to cook. So now I'm going to wash my potatoes and I'm going to take off all the skins that was left on it after peeling. So now I'm going to cut them into small pieces evenly so that they can cook faster. so now that i'm finished cutting up the potatoes and as you can see the water is boiling so i'm gonna add some salt to the water but first i'm gonna add a small amount of salt and then i'm gonna taste the water and then if it wants more i'm gonna add more yes guys that's how i learned to cook So after adding the salt, I realized it wanted some more, so I added some more salt. Now I'm going in with my potatoes and I'm going to leave this to cook for 10 minutes and I'm going to check on my shrimp. So there you go guys. There was no need to add any water. Yes, it's it tastes delicious yes guys i wish you could taste it i'm gonna let this cook for three more minutes and it will be finished i'm gonna add the mixed vegetables to the potato and let it cook for two minutes because the potato is almost finished cooking so now i'm gonna drain all the excess water from the potato Now that it's finished draining off all the excess water, I'm going to add my butter and my mayonnaise at this point. So now I'm mashing the potato and combining the mayonnaise and the chiffon butter at the same time. 
and I'm going to do this until everything is completely mashed into pieces. So now you have your coconut curry shrimp, mashed potato served with some vegetables and fruit juice. Thank you for watching guys.